गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी की यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एक्चुअली आई वॉज ऑन लीव दैट्स वाई आई वॉज इन एबल टू टेक द क्लासेस बट नथिंग टू वरी अबाउट नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर क्लासेस लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द चिगम नेशनल पार्क रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज is located in which state or the union territory so it lies in jammu and kashmir and why this national park came into news because in spite of all the conservation efforts kashmir's hangul deer it is also known as the kashmir stag faces the extinction right and uh, it is the only surviving asiatic sub species of the european red deer and it is the state animal of jammu and kashmir so it is endemic to the kashmir's hills particularly in the chigam national park and now it suffers from habitat loss and poaching so in the icn red list it is categorized as critically endangered species and it is listed in the sites appendix first so that's why urgent measures are needed to save it from disappearing right so that's why this national park came into news you have to remember its location the chigam national park lies in jammu and kashmir If we talk about some of the important national parks from Madhya Pradesh, the first one is Bandhavgarh National Park. Second one is here Kanha National Park. Then third one is Kuno National Park. Fourth is Panna National Park. All of these lies in Madhya Pradesh. Fifth is the Panch National Park. Then sixth one is Sanjay National Park, and another is the Satpura National Park. All of these national parks lies in Madhya Pradesh. then if we talk about the state rajasthan which national parks lie here the first one is kyuladio national park many times it has been asked in your examination second one is mukundra hills national park and the third one is ranthambore national park and the di- famous tiger reserve is there in rajasthan which is it it is sariska tiger reserve it lies in rajasthan fine then if we talk about option number d that is gujarat here which of the national parks lie the first one is gir forest national park second one is marine national park etc fine the next question is gulal gota recently seen in the news is a traditional festival of which indian city so it is a traditional festival of jaipur rajasthan and in the parts of jaipur rajasthan a unique holy tradition unfolds on 25th of march which is uh, basically the throwing of colors through gulal gota which is the small lakh balls that are filled with dry gulal so it was crafted by muslim lakh makers known as manihars and this tradition dates back around 400 years ago it is cherished by the erstwhile jaipur royal family and the gulal gotas represent a cultural fusion where they highlight the rich heritage and communal harmony in this region fine so gulal gota is a traditional festival of jaipur rajasthan okay few days back a festival named as tavi was in news and it is associated with which state or the union territory answer is jammu and kashmir okay so tavi festival is celebrated in jammu and kashmir similarly gole mela festival was in news and it is also celebrated in jammu and kashmir fine then another festival named as dhillo was in news and it is celebrated in the western ghats of goa fine next question is which one of the following countries recently signed a new agreement to build australia's ssn aukus submarines here correct answer would be us uk and australia basically they have formed a new pact so as to construct the australia's ssn aukus submarines marking a milestone in defense cooperation and these systems will build the submarines which are equipped for intel- intelligence surveillance and under sea warfare it will actually enhance the industrial collaboration and it will bolster the collective capacity and spur the economic growth in the defense sectors okay and aukus aims to fortify a robust submarine industrial base across the three nations which would ensure the production and maintenance capabilities right here correct answer is us uk and australia recently the national green tribunal in new delhi has initiated action on the netravati waterfront promenade development project at which particular place so national green tribunal in new delhi 
has taken action on the Netravati waterfront promenade development project in Mangaluru and it originates in Karnataka's Dakshin Kannada district which flows for 40 kilometers before turning west towards the Arabian Sea. So its major tributary is the Kumar Dhara and the tribunal was established under the National Green Tribunal Act of 2010 the basic aim of which is timely disposal of cases related to environmental concerns which would ensure the decisions within the next six months fine so ngt has initiated action on the netravati waterfront promenade development project at mangaluru next is what is the theme of the world tb day 2024 so this day is observed annually on 24th of march and basic aim is to raise the global awareness about the TB which is a contagious lung disease and this year the theme is yes we can and TB okay this theme basically emphasizes the efforts to eradicate it uh, through awareness and sustained action and this day commemorates Dr. Robert Coates discovery of TB bacteria in the year 1882 which leads to improved undertaking and diagnosis along with treatment and since 1983, the World TB Day has been observed worldwide to combat the TB disease, right? Uh, two things you have to remember. When do we observe the World TB Day? Answer is 24th of March. And what was the theme for this year? This year, the theme is Yes, We Can and TB. Recently, who has been appointed as the flag bearer of the Indian contingent at the Paris Olympics 2024? Here, answer would be B option, that is Sharat Kamal. He is a two-time Commonwealth Games gold medalist in table tennis. And he will lead the Indian contingent as the flag bearer at the Paris Summer Olympics 2024, right? And this was announced by the Indian Olympic Committee. So the 32nd Summer Olympics will take place in Paris from 26th of July up to 11th of August. And don't forget that Mary Com, who is a bronze medalist in the 2012 London Olympics, will serve as the chef de mission and Shiva Keshwan as the deputy chef de mission who would support and represent the team fine so Sharath Kamal is a table tennis player and he is now the flag bearer of the Indian contingent at the Paris Olympics 2024 next is recently who has become the first person to reach point Nemo which is the oceanic pole of inaccessibility in the Pacific Ocean here answer would be Chris Brown that is a option and he is from Britain. Basically, he achieved a historic feat by becoming the first person to reach the point Nemo, which is the oceanic pole of inaccessibility in the Pacific Ocean, and it is located far from land. Basically, this point sits at coordinates 48 degree 52 6 south latitude and 123 degree 23.6 at the west longitude. So, Brown announced his accomplishment via Instagram and uh, the nearest land masses that is Ducey Island, Motunui Island and Maher Islands are thousands of kilometers away from this point. Okay, So the first person to reach point Nemo is Mr. Chris Brown and he is from the country Britain. Okay, Next is what is the theme of the World Meteorological Day 2024? So World Meteorological Day is celebrated annually on 23rd of March and it highlights the environmental awareness and human impact on the earth. So it marks the founding of the World Meteorological Organization that is WMO. Basic objective is to raise awareness about the meteorology and its ongoing changes. So this year the theme is at the front line of climate action which emphasizes the vital role of meteorology in addressing the climate change globally. Okay. So two things are important. When do we observe the World Meteorological Day? Answer is 23rd of March and this year the theme is at the front line of climate action. Next is recently which ministry launched the electric mobility promotion scheme 2024? Here answer is Ministry of Heavy Industries that is D option. They have initiated the electric mobility promotion scheme following the conclusion of the FAME 2 on 31st of March 2024. So this scheme aims to expedite the adoption of electric two-wheelers and three-wheelers which would foster the green mobility and EV manufacturing and with a tenure of four months that is from April 
1st to 31st of July. This scheme offers the subsidies and it requires the OEM registration and vehicle approval by MH1 so as to avail the incentive, right? So, Ministry of Rabbit Industries has launched the Electric Mobility Promotion Scheme 2024. Recently, who won the first Global Inequality Research Awards 2024? Here answer is Bina Agarwal and James Boyce. So, they are the recipients of the inaugural Global Inequality Research Award and they are recognized for their profound insights into the worldwide inequalities, especially in the social and environment domains. So they will be honored at conference in Paris and their work highlights the pivotal understandings crucial for and addressing the pressing global disparities, right? So who are the recipients of the first global inequality research award? Answer is Bina Agarwal and James Poise. Next is Global E-Waste Monitor 2024 report recently seen in the news is released by which one of the following? So here answer is United Nations Institute for Training and Research. So they have released the Global E-Waste Monitor report in March and the report states that the world's generation of electric waste is growing five times faster than the amount that is documented to be recycled. Also the report states that 62 million tons of electric waste is generated annually globally which has increased by 82 percent since 2010 and the report is a reference tool for policy makers and industry that shows the world's position on the global e-waste challenges also the report warns of a pending global e-waste disaster fine right? so this report has been released by united nations institute for training and research that is c option now last question is Kokrajhar Gelifu rail link recently seen in the news is connected with which one of the following countries? Here answer is B option that is India and Bhutan. They have strengthened their bilateral ties through multiple MOUs and the agreements covering energy, trade and digital connectivity, space and agriculture. So they finalized this MOU to establish the rail links which includes the Kokrajhar, Gelifu and Banarhat Samse routes. Also, India will help the Bhutan supply through designated entry exit points. Also, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India will recognize the Bhutan Food and Drug Authority's control, which would ease the trade and compliance cost for both the nations, right? So, Kokrajhar Gelifu rail link is connected with India and Bhutan, okay? So, these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. You might be thinking, what about the revision part? So, basically, we are planning to create some explainer videos very soon that's why we are not taking our revision session ahead okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenus Hatsana signing off.